With a tall height of 6 foot 9 playing as a point guard, Magic Johnson, with his wide movements, offbeat dribbles, and his unpredictable passes, many defenders had lost focus and had gotten fooled many times. As a result, got the NCAA Tournament Championship, and at an early age of 24 years old, in his fifth year in the NBA, had two championships, two playoff finals MVPs, two steel leader titles, and two assist leader titles. And even though he was so young, it was already enough to be called a superstar in the press. And from that, money and fame was obvious, and many women had followed him around. Going past just being an athlete, he had succeeded as a man. But there was one player that stung just a bit, and that would be Larry Bird. With the same height and debuting together, their first meeting in the NCAA tournament, Magic Johnson had beaten Larry Bird. But after setting foot in the NBA in the 79-80 season, Magic did win the championship, but had lost to Bird. And that would be the Rookie of the Year award. From there, Bird had gotten 63 votes and was first, and Magic had only gotten 3 votes. So, their rivalry had gotten really heated. And then Bird's second year had won the championship, so he was on par with Magic at the time. And these two rivals' playing style had similarities but also had differences that were very precise. These two players both got points and assists and also rebounds and did other things as well. So they were both known as all-around players. But Magic shined on transitions with his quick movement and tempo. While Larry Bird was not fancy or fast, but had unbelievable basketball IQ. So he was two or three steps ahead of opponents all the time and figured the game out from there. His positioning without the ball and after getting the ball, posting up was amazing and would give precise passes or shoot with his great touch. And plus that, Bird's strong point was that he would use his fake to find the slightest space for an offensive finish. And on offense and defense, his strength was never pushed around compared to others. And he also had great prediction reflexes. In the middle of the fans' interest, Magic and Bird had faced off many times, but only in the regular season. And plus that had similar stats, but in the fifth year, in the 83-84 season playoffs. Finally, the battle of who was on top had came, the NBA Finals. Both defeating their way through the West and Eastern Conference would meet in the final stage, LA Lakers and the Boston Celtics. Before the start of the games, Magic and Bird were already heated up because the Lakers had lost to Boston in the finals seven times in the past and because of that experience, the Laker fans were all rattled up and that was the same for the Boston fans. And in this atmosphere, in the NBA Finals, these two rivals would play for four wins in seven games. And at the end of the fire, Magic would have 18 points and 10 assists. And even though it was an away game, would win the first game by six points. The second game would also be an away game, but with his confidence overflowing, Magic would put up 27 points, and with 18 seconds left, the Lakers were winning by 2 points, and had the possession. But with Boston's strong pressure, they had tied the game up. And to make things worse, in overtime, having to score 3 points, Magic Johnson would make a fatal mistake, and lose the second game. After that, Magic would be pissed off, and in the third game at home, would put up 21 assists and win by a huge 33 point deficit. But like in the second game, in overtime in the fourth game, would make another mistake and fail two important free throws. His free throw shot success rate was over 80% but failed two shots. The Lakers were in a bad situation and after Bird would finish the game off with a shot. After the fourth game tied all up, they would go back and forth again and head into the seventh game. And the game's atmosphere was getting overheated both players were very sensitive and looked like they were going to explode at any moment. And now they had to settle who was on top, the final game. Magic would put up 16 points and 15 assists, Bird would put up 20 points and 12 rebounds and they both played their best. But because it was an away game, Boston's defense came out solid. And Magic's offense was stopped many times and his shot success rate was only at 35% and had 7 turnovers and as a result had lost the championship. And so, Magic, in front of all the NBA fans, would kneel before Larry Bird. And maybe because he lost and gained focus, he had lost his smile on his face in the next season, and his teammates also seemed to be more focused. The regular season, for me, is two games with Boston and 80 games for the rest, is how much Magic had Bird on his mind.
And through those two games, both of them look like they wanted to kill each other and rip each other apart. Magic trying to get his revenge. Bird trying to prove he was above Magic for sure. Both leading their team with the goal of the championship once again. And just like Fate wanted so, they both led their team to the first in the West and Eastern Conference and drove through the first three rounds of the playoffs and once again met in the finals. With the mindset of repaying his debt he had fire in his eyes, Magic in the first game by 34 point deficit, lost. From the beginning with Bird's points and assists, he couldn't get his game straight. Because so, Magic in the second game, if it was rebounds, it would be rebounds. Steals, then steals. Points, then points. Assists, etc. If you could only erase what he did one year ago, in overtime, he would do anything in his power to do so, and try it while playing, and this mindset was the same for every teammate going out there to play. And the result was the series against Larry Bird in the finals by 4 games to 2. They had finally won. Magic and his teammates who wanted revenge were happier than anyone at that time. And plus that before the finals they had lost 8 times to Boston and was the first time winning. And because so, this victory for the Laker fans was a priceless gift. Magic Johnson had regained his laughter and honor, but he would remain 1-1 one -one with Bird so it wasn't over yet. The attention of the NBA was focused on these two by all the fans. There was a reason why they would be so enthusiastic by this. First off, the Lakers and Celtics had more than any team faced off in the finals making them rivals. And Magic and Bird, aside from being the key player for the team, were superstars in the East and Western Conference. And one side was black and the other side was white, so the situation could not be ignored and draw attention unintentionally. Magic Johnson now entering his 7th year in the 85-86 season with Bird as his only goal moving forward. With his unpredictable dribbles and no-look passes with a hard bounce, would be the assist leader for two years in a row. And he led his team in the regular season to be first in the West and made the playoffs and Bird would check Magic's record every day and keep to date with their games and he would for two years in a row lead their team to first in the Eastern Conference. These two who hated to lose would plow through the playoffs first 2nd and 3rd round, and made it to the finals to finally decide who was better and on top for the 3rd time. The 4th, the 1st and 2nd game was an away game in Boston, but this time, it was a home game for the Lakers, and because so, Magic was flying on the court more than ever, and took the first 2 games for the win. And in the 3rd away game, they started a heated point competition, and even though they lost, Magic put up 30 points which was one more shot made than Bird and from that success he was satisfied to an extent. Leading the series 2-1 in a situation facing away games in two games in a row, and Boston having a couple key players injured, but Bird was there so they had a chance of winning. But Magic Johnson from there, turned on his game. In the end of the fourth game, while trailing by one point, and in a tough situation, with Magic's hook shot that went in the net, and right after, Bird's attempted shot bounced off the rim, and the game went to Magic and the next game went to Bird, and the 6th game it would be Magic's home game. Getting 19 assists which is amazing, and by a 13 point deficit at 1, and finally took the championship, and from there got the finals MVP as well. And now completely defeating Bird, Magic Johnson was happier than anyone. But he didn't know at that time, that the player that drove him so far, Bird, he could not meet in the finals ever again. Time has passed in the 12th year at the end of the 90-91 season. Getting 5 championships, 4 assist leader titles, and a regular season MVP award, and 3 finals MVP awards, leaving him as one of the legends. And he was only 31 years old, and he was still on his game, so fans awaited what kind of performances he would show in the future. But, he would retire all of a sudden. The reason was because he had sexual intercourse condomless with many women, and had gotten AIDS. To be exact, AIDS is caused by the HIV virus and penetrates the body. And if it is not able to be stopped and the immune system is shut down, that's when it becomes AIDS. But Magic was just a carrier for AIDS, and with the right treatment he could suppress the virus and have no problem with living. But because AIDS was known as a deadly disease, he had left the NBA. And after that, without half a year passing, Magic gave news that his body was doing okay. In the all-star vote, because he was so missed by the fans, he had gotten 650,000 votes. 
and for the first time in a while, stepping on the court, Magic showed he was healthy, and his skill was still intact with his body. And in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics, he played and brought home a gold medal as well. And in the middle of the 93-94 season, he was the head coach for the Lakers for a short while, and even played as a player for a bit in the 95-96 season. But his age was 36 years old at the time, his body had weakened a lot, and because so, he wasn't a great help to the team. It was more like a taste of his past life for the fans, and it wasn't a full comeback. And after that season, he had retired completely, and as a businessman started his second life, operated the Lakers. 40 years ago, the NBA was not popular at all, and even the finals were never played live. But with amazing plays from Magic Johnson, he caught the attention of people, and another talent, Larry Bird, entering the scene. The rivalry matchup was made automatically. And because so, many fans showed passion and saved the dying NBA. When Magic and Bird met on the court, all they did was try to tear each other apart. But outside the court, these two were pretty close. With their presence alone drove them to become better athletes, and was just like a comic book, they were really good rivals. And when Magic retired because of AIDS, Bird had said, I've lost my will to play basketball for the first time, and was deeply saddened. With his body hurting, and his will breaking, he had retired one year after that. And after that in Bird's retirement, Magic Johnson showed up wearing a Boston shirt and surprised everyone. Those two showed their respect towards their heated battles and their athlete days. Until this day, throughout all the player retirements, this was the most moving retirement. And Magic Johnson and Larry Bird was left in the heart of the fans as the most historic friends and rivals. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with better content next time. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.